Hello again, everybody. It's Julian RC from Guns of Glory Kingdom 593. Uh, I had a video request for guards, um, and I think that's a great topic because guards are one of the most complicated but important parts of this game. Uh, they, they bring a huge power differential to each battle, so selecting the right guard is just incredibly important. And I don't think a lot of people understand how they work, so. Um, and I don't fully understand everything about the guards either, for sure, so if you guys have tips, I would love to hear them uh, and add them into the video. So, um, guards obviously come in three flavors. You've got the infantry, cavalry, and um, distance guards, so obviously you want to send those with the correct marches. But what a lot of people don't know is the guards come in pairs. Um, they're built in pairs, actually, is what I mean. So. Every guard has a correlated guard that you should be sending along with it. For example, uh, Van Helsing, one of my favorite guards, and um, Milady Day Winter, they are a pair. They should always be sent together if you're sending a cavalry march. And the reason for that is if you go into their statistics here, and by the way, if you're not maxing the, you should have your, you know, your favorite pair of guards, and you should get this to level ten as quickly as possible and unlock all of them because this is where your power is coming from, actually. And then, of course, the guard level as well. But if you look at this, and you don't need to read all of them, okay? There's a whole bunch of stuff you don't need to know. All of this, don't worry too much about it. Um, obviously, you need to know that it's an infantry or cavalry guard, so you're going to send this guy with cavalry. And this stat right here, there's uh, oops, no, not this stat. This stat right here. Okay. If the enemy's troops are under a bleeding effect, it will have a deterrent effect on the enemy guard who will be prohibited from using activity skills for two rounds. Can only be triggered once every six rounds. Okay, so a round, they happen instantly. There are a whole bunch of rounds when two troops fight, when two, you know, when your march hits the enemy castle, for example. The battles are done in a series of rounds where it calculates damage from one to the other, um, one enemy to the other quickly uh, in a row, right? So a series of rounds. Um, that's not that important. Damage does carry over between each round, so um, there's like a lot of math that goes into it. I don't understand a whole lot of that, but the important thing here, the only thing that we care about is if the enemy troops are under a bleeding effect, this guy is much more powerful. He stops the enemy guards from functioning for a little bit. So, um, the bleeding effect is what's going to pair up with the other guard here, okay? And Milady Day Winter, also an inf or a cavalry guard, right? So we have two cavalry guards here. Look at this. She has a 40% chance of causing a bleeding effect to enemy troops each round. So right there you can see she's going to bleed them, and then Van Helsing's going to capitalize on that. So you need to send these two guys together. Some other pairs, so these are one of the OG pairs right here. Uh, they're not the best cavalry pair, but they're the oldest, probably. I think, I don't know, I haven't played that long. But they're an old pair, uh, and they're very popular, and I've been leveling them up for a long time, which is, they're my highest, that's they're my go-to. Now we had some new guards release a couple months, two? I don't remember, within two or three months. Um, and those, they released a whole bunch of new pairs, and some of those are better than Van Helsing and Milady Day Winter. For Calvary, you've got uh, Joan of Arc and Lara Croft. I know I'm saying their names wrong, but that's who they are. It's Joan of Arc and it's Lara Croft, damn it. Joan of Arc is going to give a um, confusion effect right there. Chance of causing a confusion effect, and then Lara Croft is also a Calvary guard, and she is going to capitalize on that confusion effect uh, by dealing more damage. So that's another pair that you'd want to send together. Bella and Aramis, Ar Aramis? I don't know if I'm saying that right. They're a pair. They're not the best pair. Um, Bella and Donna, I think, are a better pair. I don't, I don't know exactly, but these are a great pair right here, and I'm doing these two because I've got almost six stars in Aramis from this event that's been going on. So, uh, obviously my six star Aramis is going to be way better than my two star Donna, so I have decided this is going to be my infantry pair, so I'm getting them up slowly. 
and you can see why, because if troops are under a blessing effect, the skill damage is increased, and what do you think she does? She gives troops a blessing effect, right? So pairs them up. Uh, the reason I said that her and Donna are a better pair is because they were released at the same time. Okay, so the game kind of was giving us a hint by releasing both of them together that they probably go together. And Heavy Duty, this skill right here that Aramis has, Heavy Duty, 20% um, damage received, whereas she has Heavy Duty 2. They look the same, and, but they pair up. So Bella has Heavy Duty 2 and Donna has Heavy Duty 2. Two as well. So I don't know if the... I don't even know if that's a two. I don't know what's going on here. They look the same, but for some reason they were released together, so I assume that they are kind of meant to go together, but I've decided to stick with Aramis just because, of the, again, the star level is huge. And I should be getting him to six stars pretty soon, so he's going to be... he's going to be a pretty strong guy there. So yeah, take a look at those. Uh, for infantry... Yeah, that's infantry, cavalry, Okay, distance, I really screwed up. I didn't. I saw somebody else doing this and I just copied it before I understood. I did, um, Je Crois? I don't know how to pronounce her name. Je Crois and Le Maupin? Probably saying those wrong. I got them up because they were both distance and I didn't understand what I was doing, but they do not go together. Uh, Je Crois goes with Blackbeard. He has that awesome shred effect, which Je Crois will capitalize on the shred effect. So um, I'm changing my strategy. I am retiring probably the Maupin and going to start focusing on Blackbeard instead to get them up. Uh, I don't know all of the other pairs. I haven't dug into it that much, but I kind of picked those as my favorite. and I'm going to stick with them, and I suggest you guys do the same unless you find something better. Then let me know. Uh, something that's kind of cool is the Maupin causes... A bleeding effect, okay? So she causes a bleeding effect and Van Helsing capitalizes on the bleeding effect. So they are kind of a pair, but Van Helsing is cavalry and Le Maupin is distance. So normally you wouldn't put them together, but if you were sending a cavalry distance combination march, that might work really well. Uh, they would definitely be the two to go together if you were doing that. Uh, for example, if there was some certain setup where the castle was defended by... Um, Infantry and cavalry, you'd want to send cavalry in distance so that you could, you know, kind of counter that. So that's a little more rare, but that's a possibility. You've got Count Rochfort and uh, Gr Grimmond. Those two are going to be your wall defenses. So you want to get both of them up no matter period dot, because they are always going to be the strongest for your wall. Uh, you want them assigned to your wall. Let's go ahead and show you to do that. Yep, so you always want these two on here. With There's one potential exception if you are a money spender. There is one guard you can purchase, and you will you will never get him from recruiting. You have to buy him straight up from the store. And I don't have him, but let me show you who he is. Where about to get out of here. Okay. Vauban. God, I'm probably just destroying their names, but... Vauban is the best guard for the wall. So you would replace Grimmond with this fella uh, because he has something. Let's see. Oh, you know what it is? Because he's gold. He's gold and he has garrison. So he's going to have better stats than Grimmond and he has that wall bonus. So he is your, uh, your sec, like your, if you were to buy him, he'd be great for the wall. He also has a really cool special ability that gives you more wall uh, defense. All, everybody in your estate will have their health increased by 500. So if you were going in battle and you had him selected and assigned to the wall and you cast this spell for like a Darklands, probably more for KVK or something like that, um, yeah, you'd have a great wall defense. So I leave it up to you if you want to purchase him. He's kind of expensive and he will take a... You'll have to purchase him a lot more times to get his star levels up. So you're looking at, you're looking at some heavy spending if you go that route. Um, okay, so hopefully that helps you understand a little bit about what you're looking for with the guards. Um, I, just by just by knowing that, you have a huge advantage over people that don't. I have crushed so many 40-plus castles in the Musketeers Ford just from um, 
just from using those guard advantages when the enemy doesn't. Um, yeah, I've literally crushed everybody in the whole the whole damn thing. You see, 40s, 41s, 37s, I, just from setting the correct cards and you know stats too. Of course, that's different from a real fight. A real fight, a C40 would destroy me, but in the Musketeers for it, kicking ass. Um, okay, one more thing I want to mention, an honorable mention, is uh, Gannibal and Jean-Paul Lacombe and Edmund Halley. Okay, so those are special guards. I actually bought Gannibal with real money. Uh, you cannot get them from recruiting. You have to purchase them. And you may be wondering, why would I purchase a level, a purple guard with real money? And the answer is simple. They have awesome guard talents. This guy reduces the training of, or the time of all of your training guards, and uh, Grimmond, the one I bought, reduces the time of all construction, and Edmund, of course, does research. So if you wanted to buy those guys with real money, the reason would be you, you get that free talent, and I'll show you how that looks. You go to your guard talents, and every 24 hours, I activate this talent, and I reduce, I think it's four hours off of my uh, all my construction, so it helps me get the construction sooner. So I would love to have all these guards, I just am not going to spend the money. But I have seen them go on sale, uh, I got Grimmond, or whatever this guy's name is. Uh, he was on a midweek sale right in this area, so I went ahead and grabbed him because I, yeah, I want that construction speed up. Okay, so if you have a guard that's, uh, you know, you've gotten lucky and you've drawn him a few times and you have really high stars in that guard, try to find the pair that goes with him and maybe make that your main guard. Uh, it could be as simple as, that could be all you need to make him your main pair, one of your main pairs. There is one last thing I wanted to show you. Uh, in your formations here, you should have set up, um, you should have set up a few formations with the guards that go together. So that way you can quickly select them, even if they're a little lower level, you can quickly select them. I don't understand, so look at this little button right here. It swaps the positioning of the guards. Why would the game give us that? I don't know, and there's no, I have not been able to find anybody that knows why we can swap the location of the guards, and I've looked. All I can think is maybe it matters which one does something first in the round, so maybe, um, since she causes the bleeding effect, maybe we want her in the first, so she goes first and causes the bleeding effect, and then he goes and he capitalizes on that effect? But I don't know. It's complete. I I've also heard maybe you want the more defensive one in the front because they're taking the damage, so there's a lot of... There's just a lot of unknown stuff. Um, I am going to keep it in this way, this order, with her causing the effect first, because that's uh, that's my guess. It's just a guess. And I haven't done enough testing in battle to really know. Okay, cool. So hopefully that helped uh, give you guys some confidence on the guards. If I missed anything, if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you all in game. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.